The four classes for the 2014 Asia Le Mans series are LMP2, CN Prototypes, GT and GTM. The series winner and runner-up of the GT class and the series winner in the LMP2 class will be awarded entry into the 2015 Le Mans 24-hour race. To assist in the development of motorsport in Asia, every team of two or three drivers is required to have at least one Asian Oceanic driver. In addition, each team must have a pro-am balance of drivers. The purpose of this is to help develop new talent and allow for an open and fair competition. Uh, Le Mans is one of the blue ribbon races um, that people worldwide know about it and it's here in Asia. And um, for teams and drivers, it's giving us the opportunity to raise the game even, even farther and higher. As a team, we, uh, we really gelled together. We improved a lot throughout the season. And uh, as the results show, in the last two rounds, we, uh, we were able to clinch a championship by two points, which was, uh, it was a really good fight at the uh, last round at Sepang last year. And as you can see of the organization, there are many teams, they have experience uh, also in at Le Mans, also of the organization. So that's why it, it's good, because once a team make it to have the entry for Le Mans, um, it's not so much different than the rules and, and the organization there, so uh, it really suits each other, and uh, I think that's good. It's the first and only uh, endurance championship in Asia, so and it's also cross-platformed uh, with the European, European Le Mans and of course the uh, WEC. It helps Asia uh, as well as Europe to understand each other better, more competitive, and it's also a good training platform for the teams here. This championship must happen, and it's happening, and, and I'm really grateful for the ACO and uh, Mark Thomas uh, to put this together. I think you know the, the hopes for this season, uh, after our first successful inaugural season in 2013, is to maintain uh, a movement forward, and that means growth in all areas. 